The Volvo C30 electric is without a doubt a very important milestone in the entire automotive industry. This zero emission vehicle, which is the first concrete result of Volvo's electrification strategy, has a practical driving range of 120 to 150 kilometers on a single battery charge, which is much more than the average world commuter drives in one day. The electric motor, which is almost four times more energy efficient than a combustion engine, gives the vehicle an electronically limited top speed of about 130 kilometers per hour and acceleration from zero to 70 kilometers per hour in only six seconds. The goal of the Volvo C30 electric has been to develop and offer a product, an electric car that meets all legal requirements in the world and on top of that also will meet all the Volvo demands for a future electric vehicle. This means that the car must meet all our standards regarding safety, comfort, versatility and practicality. In other words, no compromise for the customer. Volvo C30 electric project is partly financed by 150 million Swedish crowns from the Swedish Energy Agency. One of the missions for the Swedish Energy Agency is to support R&D projects in the area of sustainable energy systems. Electrification of road transport offers energy efficiency and thereby reduced carbon emissions and is thereby one of the major tracks towards a sustainable transport system. Volvo's environmental dedication dates back to the 1970s. The Clean Air Act of 1970 was a milestone in history. For the first time ever, the authorities had decided to force the pace of technical innovation. Volvo was well placed to meet the target. Volvo had used advanced equipment to conduct initial emission tests as early as 1965, being the first European manufacturer to do so. The spokesman of the Motor Vehicle Control Board of California stated the following. I believe that you at the Volvo company are the farthest advanced of anyone in the world on exhaust control. The main focus has been, and still is, on clean air inside and out. Reduced emissions, efficient energy and resource utilization, non-allergenic car interiors, production and recycling. The Volvo C30 electric, which has a 400 volt electric system, is powered by 24 kilowatt hours state-of-the-art lithium ion batteries that optimizes safety, energy content and power. The position of the 280 kilogram batteries, plus all power cables, puts extremely high demands on a systematic approach with crash worthiness issues. A battery powered Volvo must of course be as safe as any other Volvo car when it comes to driving, owning, servicing and also in the event of an accident. In terms of safety, finding the optimal battery location outside the vehicle crumple zones has been one of the key challenges during the development of the C30 electric. One other important challenge has been to offer the same excellent vehicle properties as the ordinary C30. This has required our test team to utilize many of our established as well as newly developed test methods. Our team has also developed an easy to understand HMI, a great driving experience using a responsive and highly efficient electric drivetrain and everything works beautifully even in our Arctic winter. For all systems with high reliability requirements, Volvo has developed redundant systems that controls the same signals in separate ways to make sure that nothing unexpected will happen. Overall, this has resulted in a lot of new system specifications to be able to meet the requirements of safety and security, energy optimization, and to make the Volvo C30 electric perceived as any other Volvo. This project is of strategic relevance for Sweden and its companies. It gives knowledge on batteries, electric vehicle technologies and how vehicles could be used in the Swedish society. The project will also give us knowledge on how to eliminate large-scale barriers for the introduction of electric vehicles. So far we're very pleased with the project and the cars that have been built. The Volvo C30 electric is the result of intense and focused work based on the project team's ability and skills to create a new, safe and efficient electric car made of hundreds of all new components and systems for the automotive world. 
Applied research, new components and systems, new test methods, new requirements, and new technical solutions, which were unknown in the automotive world, quickly became the daily life for everyone involved. To do this project in this relatively short period of time, remember we have been working with the product only for 25 months, we have adopted our working procedures, but for the sake of the customer, we have made no compromises in terms of our testing and validation of the product. To develop an electric vehicle, we have to look into new things, because many of the things we see in this car has not been there before. So we have adapted and uh, developed processes and also validation tools in a new way. And we have done this in a very good collaboration with our colleagues in the organization. The result, the Volvo C30 electric, is already here. And you can see the car running in the city silently, safely, and with zero emissions. Volvo Cars is now, according to the company's electrification strategy, taking the next steps towards the future generation of electric cars that will meet all the customer needs in terms of zero emissions, safety, performance, comfort, user-friendliness, versatility, and of course, driving pleasure. One step is an inductive charging project where energy is transferred wirelessly to the car's battery via a charging plate buried in the road surface. The energy that is transferred is alternating current. This is then converted into direct current in the car's built-in voltage converter, which in turn charges the car's battery pack. The aim is, of course, that it should be as convenient as possible, both to use and to own an electric vehicle. So when you park the car above the plate, uh, energy is transferred from the plate to the inductive pickup in the vehicle without any physical contact. So you won't even need this in the future. Another step is that Volvo has initiated a development pre-study of a fuel cell range extender that significantly will extend the electric car's operating range without any carbon dioxide emissions. And what will the electric car look like in the future? Well, the designers will of course adapt the special features and create a functional and attractive Volvo that maybe will look something like this. <laughs>